the biggest question we're getting right now with Fiona is when is she going to go back with mom and dad? Um, it's a natural question. She's been doing good the last couple of weeks. We're gaining weight. We're feeling a lot healthier and happier. But she still really has like, quite a long way to go before she's ready to be back in with Henry and Phoebe. Um, so the biggest concern primarily for us right now is that she's still considered immunocompromised. Lots of preemies have underdeveloped immune systems, so Fiona's body is not able to fight off infection as well as our bodies. Um, so the best way to combat that is to keep her in a really sterile environment, try to keep it clean, try to keep as many bugs and germs out as we can. Fortunately for us, our veterinary staff is able to actually monitor her immune system by taking blood, and then we can actually track the immunoglobulins. So immunoglobulins are special proteins that give us an indication of how strong her immunity is. So once we start to see those numbers creep up and once we feel like she's healthy enough, the next step will actually be to introduce her to a larger space that's adjacent to the adult hippos. But there'll still be a protective barrier between her and them. So this will allow them to get to know each other kind of on their own terms and still have a chance to move away if they're uncomfortable. Um, and when you have animals in a setup like that, it's called howdying. So the howdy setup is a great tool for keepers because it allows us to assess how animals are gonna interact with each other before we actually put them into a shared space. So it'll give us a good idea whether or not Henry and Bibi are gonna be accepting of Fiona. Um, a lot of people don't necessarily understand, well, why wouldn't that, that's their baby, why wouldn't they be accepting? But when it, Fiona was born, you know, she was not healthy enough to actually be with mom and dad. She wasn't, milk, she wasn't able to nurse. Um, she wasn't really even strong enough to stand, so for the 10 to 12 day imprinting period that she should have spent with mom, she had to be with the keeper staff. So Bibi may not necessarily even recognize that Fiona is her baby when we reintroduce them. Um, that doesn't mean that they're not going to accept her. It doesn't mean they won't love her. It just means that in their hippo brains, there might not be a parent-offspring relationship. Um, they'll kind of look at her and be like, oh, a tiny hippo has come to join our bloat. Okay. Um, now the good news about that is that female hippos are not necessarily aggressive towards other females. They don't demonstrate territoriality. So BB shouldn't have any issues with Fiona coming back into that space. Um, and although males can be territorial, it's usually only towards other males. So Henry would be a lot more upset if we were trying to introduce a new boy into the bloat. Since Fiona's a girl, he's going to be like, oh, that's fine, another girl, come on in. Um, but as I said, we still kind of have a long way to go before we're at that step. When we do move her into that adjacent holding space, that whole area is something that we can control um, temperature, we can control height. I don't have any food for you. <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna keep begging anyway. Okay, so the holding space that we would move Fiona into um, is a pretty unique space. Our maintenance team has been working very busily to uh, kind of retrofit it so that it can meet all of Fiona's preemie needs. So for example, preemies are not super able to regulate their own body temperature. They need a lot of help, have to be kept in a fairly warm environment. So this space will have its own added heater and thermostat so we're able to monitor the exact air temperature, make sure it's warm enough for her. Additionally, there's a special platform area with ramps and mats, all things that can be disinfected and kept nice and clean. And we can also continue to um, step up the pools as her aquatic abilities progress. So when she's ready for deeper pools, we can step the pool level up to something deeper and continue to monitor her. So at this point, um, we don't have a calendar date set. We can't tell you exactly when Fiona will be living next door to mom and dad. We just know that we have to go based on what her skills and abilities are, her health, and our veterinary staff and the rest of the team who are taking care of Fiona will help us make that decision whenever she's ready and we will keep you posted as always. Oh, my God.